The oft repeated expression is that the daughter cells are similar to mother cells but not identical. Now what does that mean? That means in the daughter cells some changes occur. How and why? Because the process is not 100% accurate. The formation of DNA which is the source of information for making proteins does in include some changes. The process is not 100% accurate and so the daughter cell formed has slight changes. Just like if you are copying your notes from your friend, there is a possibility that while copying you may make some changes or inadvertently some errors occur. So your copy though is very much to your friend's copy but is not exact, right? It's not a photocopy, okay? So now that means that the changes are there in asexual reproduction and more so in the sexual reproduction. Why? Because the information is coming from two sources, father and the mother. So when they combine, the changes are more and these changes are very significant. In biological terms, we call it variations. Now the variations are very significant. First of all, they provide raw material for evolution. So the variations are important because they also improve the chances of survival, right? Second important thing is that variations occur more in sexual reproduction. Now what are the entry cases of this? We often see that say in a field of uh, plant like say wheat or sugarcane, all plants look similar but if we closely observe them, there are some differences. But if we take the case of say human population, the differences are much more visible. In many cases we say that okay, this child has the eyes of his father or the color of the hair is that of mother. What is it that controls this transmission of traits from parents to the progeny or in other words to the offsprings? Obviously, there is something which carries this information. The male produces sperms and the female produces the ova and how does that happen? With the help of meiosis, which means the chromosome number is reduced to half. But whatever it is, the information has gone from parents to sperms and ova. So they have the genes in them, though in half number of chromosomes. So the cells are haploid. So when fertilization takes place and a zygote is formed, Obviously, it has the genetic information both from father and mother via sperm and ova. So this is how the genetic information is passed on.